Ladies, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. It's the East All-Stars facing the West All-Stars. So the East All-Stars will get the first possession. Now let's check out the starters for the East All-Stars. Under Jakumbo out there with Pascal Siakam. And it's Young. And there's Embiid. And it's Walker in at the two. Boy, for a young player, it's so good to see Doncic make an effort on both ends like we saw there. And Young kicks to Under Jakumbo. Down low, Embiid. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed. So can't fault him for going for the block. The West All-Stars making a switch here. Paul's checked in. Fires from 14. Doesn't go that time. So the East All-Stars will take it the other way. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I had a chance to catch up with Coach Mike D'Antoni. I asked him how hands-on he was planning to be, and he said, not much. He told me, it's fun to coach these guys to see what I can generate out of certain matchups, but that's more the exception than the rule. I think I'll be as much of a spectator as anyone. Guys? Thank you, David. Young taking his time here. Here's Walker. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Walker ready to shoot as soon as he catches the ball there. Great anticipation from the veteran guard. Outside Leonard. 40 seconds left in the first. Pass to Davis. Rebound by Joel and B. And so Young will bring it up for the East All-Stars. Giannis inside. Leonard's there, and Antetokounmpo gets it to go. You know, with his athletic ability, Antetokounmpo could almost get away with not having a jump shot, but he's got one anyway. And here's Harden. Jacks up a three. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. The East All-Stars up on top, leading by just two. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the East All-Stars? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. And the West All-Stars with possession. Trailing by two. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court for the East All-Stars, they've got Lowry. Pam Adebayo is out there with Rudy Gobert. Then it's Chris Middleton, and it's Mitchell in at the two spot. Now here's Middleton, following the miss shot by Sabonis. Middleton, the pass to Lowry. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Lowry's got the lead up to five now for the East All-Stars. There's 117 left in the first half of basketball. Middleton against Tatum. Six to shoot. That shot misses. So the East All-Stars will take it the other way. Now Middleton. Nice D from Sabonis. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Now here's Tatum. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Look, busts. 
Watch the J after the KG pass fake. You know, if you get open, you can bet that Jokic is going to find you. His floor awareness is off the charts. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Middleton looking it over. Mitchell outside. Over Sabonis. And it's Mitchell missing. Westbrook with a deep three. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. East All-Stars lead by three. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Quite the tussle there in the first half, huh? For the East All-Stars, the first quarter, pretty even. At the end of the period, they held a two-point lead. They had a slight edge on the scoreboard in the second quarter, but only by the slimmest of margins. And from what we've seen so far from the East All-Stars, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, they showed a lot of discipline on offense. Saw some high percentage plays. Even when the defense devised different looks, they always seem to have the answer. That's good coaching. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on the West All-Stars. Whatever their game plan was defensively coming in, that needs to change. Can't let a team shoot for a percentage in the high 50 and expect to come out on top. It's on the coaches and the players to adjust. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Here's LeBron, Harden out there with Doncic. Then it's LeBron James, then it's Anthony Davis, and it's Leonard in at the three slot. That's the five for the West All-Stars right now. Walker against Harden, lock at six for the tie. And Embiid pulls it down. And so Young will bring it up for the East All-Stars. It's a three-point game. Leonard with the steal. Here's James, and LeBron throws it down. Well, that's one man never afraid to punch it. Give LeBron a path to the bucket, and the finish is going to be something in a post. Embiid finds Walker. Young outside. Kick out to Giannis. That's in, coming off the assist from Young. Giannis has got his second bucket. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Young against Doncic. Harden inside the three-point line. East grabs the miss. Embiid's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Walker the pass to Embiid. He dishes it to Young. Back to Embiid. Here's Walker. West All-Stars with the rebound. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Leonard, the pass to LeBron. Seven-foot shot. Connects. The jumper drops. James has got four points in the quarter. LeBron's game has a real shine to it. Spit polish. And he's got a great feel of when to attack from there. Here's Antetokounmpo. Shoots the three. No good there. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. The East All-Stars up on top, leading by just one. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feed. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that 
are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet looking NBA highlights. 10 quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. On the floor for the East All-Stars, starting the fourth. We've got Chris Middleton. Lowry out there with Donovan Mitchell. Then it's Bam out of bio. And it's Gobert in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Mitchell with it. five on the clock and it's Mitchell with the jam the finish was nice but the setup was better yeah GA the pick working to full effect before the stuff and you know not enough help from the defense there to compensate he gets a clean look and that's exactly how you draw it up here's Booker after the basket by the East All-Stars on the other end kicks it out to Paul to tie it up Rudy Gobert with the rebound East All-Stars on offense. Three-point lead. And then Mitchell at the dunk. And, you know, Lowry looks to set up his open teammates beautifully. Nice dime there. And it really keeps the team tied together nicely. Now here's Booker. 104 left in the fourth quarter. No good from 18. Mitchell left side target from three-point range. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Jokic kicks to Booker. Back to Jokic. A three. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one-two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Timeout called East All-Stars. They lead by two. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. of our Jordan player of the game, Kyle Lowry. And his percentage from the field tonight seemed almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Looking at who's out there now for the West, Davis has checked in for Jokic. James comes in for Sabonis. Leonard, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. And it's James Harden in for Devin Booker. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, Dwayne Casey just going over the game plan with his team down the stretch. This game is close, and he told his players, hey, guys, this is when it's fun, right? This is a close game, and this is when you get to show what you're made of. Right here, right now. Kevin, we'll see how they respond. finds Leonard about seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks places one from three this is the red hot version of Chris Paul right there I 
think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. Young against Paul. And here's Young. Shot clock at six. From downtown, it's rebounded by Leonard. Timeout called here. The West All-Stars decide to talk it over. They're trailing by one. Five seconds left in the game. And the West All-Stars have possession from Deep Harden. Misses the train. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. And, you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. So it's the East All-Stars taking the W in a close one. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Craig Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.